Hi, and welcome back to my channel. For this plant experiment Monday, I'm excited to share with you guys an update on my avocado. Now, if you recall, the last time I shared an update, I called it my albino avocado. And after further researching and watching the progress of my plant, it's not a true albino. So that's why I'm calling it avocado but I'm excited to share with you guys where it's at with its progress and how it's been doing. But real quick, I also wanna say thank you so much for those that let me know that you're having problems in turning on the notification bell. I did change my account to an adult account a long time ago, but if you subscribe before I made that change, it won't allow you to turn on the notification bell. So in order to get around that, uh, what you wanna do is unsubscribe and then resubscribe, and then it'll allow you to turn on that notification bell. Thanks so much for sticking with me and onto the plant. And here she is. Isn't this amazing? The last time I gave an update, she was maybe this tall. She was a wee little thing. Did I just say wee little thing? Where did that even come from? Quarantine movies. And it was crazy because I really was not expecting in such a short amount of time for her to grow practically a foot tall. The stem is healthy, the green leaves are healthy. You see the chlorophyll all throughout. There's no other abnormalities. So that is a great sign. If you recall in the last video, I did some research on what this is and it's called white leaf scale. And I found this article by the California Society of Avocados. It was in an old published 1956 yearbook of theirs where they did an article about abnormal avocado seedlings and albinism. They concluded that it was not a result of a common avocado disease called sun blotch, but it was actually a common reoccurrence from avocado seeds that were collected prior to a certain age, as well as fruit maturity. If you come across an avocado seedling that has this, don't be alarmed because my plant is proof that it will absolutely continue to grow into a healthy, beautiful plant and that this mutation, it does not limit it whatsoever. The next step in this girl's adventure is she's gonna get a haircut. You guys know when I say haircut, that means I'm releasing apical dominance. For those of you that are new to my channel, I'm gonna give kind of a long story version, longer than I normally give, on what releasing apical dominance means. I am cutting the apical bud, which is the apex growth point, which at the farthest top of the plant or the farthest sides of the plant. The apical buds hold a growth hormone called auxin, and that auxin is a growth inhibitor that prevents any growth down below along the stem. By cutting the apical bud, you are releasing apical dominance because auxin signals are released and another growth hormone kicks in called cytokinins. Cytokinins will go ahead and focus the growth of new buds or new shoots along the stem. But it's really rad because auxin and cytokinins, they have this kind of balancing relationship. For example, if the plant has higher levels of auxin, then the plant will focus its growth on the roots. If there's a higher level of cytokinins, then the plant will focus its growth on the buds or new shoots. Also fascinating thing about auxin is, if you recall, um, there was a video that I talked about plants leaning towards the direction of the light. Auxin is what enables the plants to lean towards the light, to stretch towards the light, which is phytotropism. So it's really fascinating in understanding what these plant hormones do or these hormone regulators within the plant body. I plan to propagate the top part of the plant. I want to include a couple of nodes at the bottom. I cut the stem at a 45 degree angle. This creates the largest surface area to help the stem absorb the water. 
I'll go ahead and just plop it right into this glass vessel. This is strictly tap water. And then place this on the windowsill. My kitchen windowsill is a northeast facing window, so it gets indirect light. And we'll check back in on the plant in about probably four to six weeks. If you liked this video, please hit that like button and subscribe and turn on that notification bell that will alert you of when my next video is released. As always, I hope this video was helpful for someone and thanks so much for watching.